This is why you should never prank call on no numbers, part 3. They heard the sound to the gate in the backyard opening. God damn it, I forgot to shut the back door, Anthony said. Anthony urged his friend to go shut the door. He made it to the hallway leading to the back door, and then froze. There was a silhouette standing right outside the back door. He opened the door and came inside. The friend tiptoed over to Anthony and motioned him to go upstairs. They made it to Anthony's room. They then pulled the door shut as quietly as possible, making sure they made no noise. They crawled under Anthony's bed. Thumps finally came up the stairs. The man was right outside the door that they were hiding in. Footsteps moved over to the closet, and then the closet was opened. The man found nothing in the closet. The man walked right over to the bed and stopped. Anthony felt like his heart was going to explode at this point. Nothing but silence in the room now. I'm sorry, but the timer ran out. Part 4 will be out in a moment.